One more set of Protecto 2s. For those wondering, you can actually paralyze Protectos using Toadman, but it doesn't actually do anything to them. It doesn't slow down the countdown or anything. It just makes them flash yellow for a bit. Okay, and this is actually the last I'm going to need Ultra Bomb for now. In fact, having it from this point on might actually get in the way. So, a bit of folder modification is in order. Let's get rid of these. Put in Navi plus 40. Then go way down here. I know they're in here somewhere. Further down. There they are. Aqua plus 40 and Elect plus 40. That seems like a good setup. So let's continue on our merry little way. 500 zennies, that's a lot less impressive than 8,000. And a virus in disguise is even worse yet. Okay. With this setup, I can go ahead and get rid of both auras and severely weaken the remaining Scuttle virus. That'll do. And we get a bug frag. With that, I believe I actually have all the bug frags, but we'll cover that in a bit. Still more to do here. Going this way, we get... a sub-mem. So now I can carry eight of every sub-chip. That's rather effective. And now we have the final set of Protecto 3s. Actually, technically, the only set of Protecto 3s. What I need here is a set of four very specific chips. Hopefully I can get in some countermeasures here, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, I actually have what I need. Fire Blade. Aqua Blade. Elect Blade. Attack plus 20. Since Life Sword 3 does 600 damage, the attack plus 20 gives it that last little boost it needs to finish these ones off. And time to claim one more prize. We get... Anti-Navi X. It's another of those trap chips, only really good for link play if your opponent wants to summon Navis. You who have passed three trials, I honor you! Now, the final door shall open. The final door opened. Len, there's nothing here. Well then, what was that final door thing all about? Everything up till now has been a test. A test? You were testing me? Yes, and you have passed that test brilliantly. You are the Chosen One. The Chosen One? You have won a seat among the future rulers of the net. You may join us. You may join the World 3. Because it wasn't totally obvious this was a World 3 facility, what with all the W's and skulls. With your skills, you'll shoot right up the ranks, really. The World 3? Correct. This is the new headquarters of the restored World 3. And leading the restoration of our proud World 3 is I, inheritor of this land's great power, Planet Men. And our first act in this, the dawn of the World 3 era, will be to destroy the net and take control of the entire world. What? <laughs> Not while I'm around, you don't. My, my. Have you no ambition? You show such promise, it seems a shame. I won't let you get away with this. I'm afraid you don't have a choice, for if you don't join us, you will be destroyed. A fitting, if regrettable, sacrifice to the glory of the World 3. Mega Men, we can't lose this one. We won't. Let's rock. Again? <laughs> Battle routine set. Execute. 
Okay, time to fight Planet Man Man Planet. The thing to keep in mind here is, for some reason, Planet Man is wood element and thus weak to any heat attacks. Also notable, his planets have elemental weaknesses too. For example, the yellow planet there can be destroyed with wood attacks, the red planet can be destroyed through aqua attacks, and so on. So keep that kind of thing in mind. Uh, let's see here. Nothing really great up front, unfortunately. His planets can also launch attacks at you, so you do have to be mindful of that. Uh, let's see. That's not going to be too terribly effective, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. He can also summon annoying little space shuttles to attack you. Highly irritating, that. Oh, I'm missing just one chip for the advance I needed. Oh well. Let's at least go ahead and paralyze Planet Man. Oh, I destroyed a space shuttle too. Huh, <sighs> you're really having a laugh, aren't you? Invisibility, I will definitely accept that. Unfortunately, I don't think I can really get this to work due to the pits in front of Planet Man there. Nope, he is not interested in attacking. Oh sure, now you give me what I would have needed for the double hero advance. Doesn't that just figure? I took one hit, but you know what? I'm getting tired of attempting this area, so I'm just going to let that count. Congratulations, Planet Man. You got me. I'm just getting really tired of this area, and I want to be done with it. <laughs> Even if you have defeated me, somewhere, sometime, somehow, the World 3 will rise again. Aye! Aye, 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 aye! <laughs> Man, those World 3 guys just won't stay down, will they? If they won't stay down on their own, we'll put them down. They can pop up all they want, as long as we're here. You're right, Lan. Rumble, rumble. Man, I'm hungry. Some things never change. Ready to jack out? I guess. But wait. Wasn't this area a no-jack-out zone? You're right. We'll just have to go back the way we came. Right-o. And that's a rather long trip, so let's have one more refreshing pause. Alright, so it looks like I finally have an excuse to show using a full energy. Ding! Okay, let's move on. So for those who might be wondering why I decided to keep the footage where Planet Man actually hit me, the reasoning there is during that run I actually got two rare chips that I didn't have yet. The Meteor 18, and also the Yo-Yo 3. So actually getting both of those chips on camera, it kind of justified keeping the footage in my mind. Beyond that, I actually did successfully record a run where I didn't take any damage. Unfortunately, it suffered major audio desync. So by the time I was recording that last run, I just kind of wanted to get the footage done and start working on editing videos together, that kind of thing. Just moving on, you know? Okay, so for now we need to get out of the World 3 area. So, let's go. Part 3 is really the only one that still takes a while to get back out of. So, let's just hurry along. If I could get Kunai 3 out of that, that would be nice. Oh, but instead I get another Yo-Yo 3. Oh well. I do still like the Yo-Yo chips to some degree. They are fun. Better when you can actually get advances out of them. 